by HQI is very pleased to bring this conference to you and look forward to our days together here. It is with great pleasure to host you, as they say down here in America's finest city. Think different, put yourself in the shoes of the patient or the family, and figure out a way to meet them in their lives. We may never achieve zero preventable deaths, although I think it may be possible. I think we have a sacred obligation to try. Our commitment is to bring our effort to every aspect of our healthcare delivery system, both clinical and non-clinical. Get true cultural and organizational transformation will take time. This time is going to come with great change and great reward. Day in and day out, how you show up. How you show up makes the difference for how others act, how others think. So for us to move to the kind of new levels of reliability we want to achieve, we have to create local environments, the work settings, these learning systems that I call them, that are going to look at defects on three levels, clinical, cultural, and operational. The naive question is simply this. If we weren't already doing it this way, is this the way we would start? And for us, the foundation of that different way was data. Two, five, and 10 years from now, we'll look back and say, the steps we took are what we need, and we have served society by stepping out, taking a few risks, and moving forward. We are starting to see high reliability gain a lot of momentum in, in the healthcare, particularly among hospitals and health systems. I have learned more about quality and safety and how to improve what we do at the bedside from patients and families than I have from my colleagues. The opening session we had with the orchestra reminded me actually of the orchestrated care that I received because I was so lucky to be injured in a trauma system. We need to take care of our workers in order to take care of our patients. We hope to construct this conference to cover respect, reliability, and resilience through listening, learning, teaming, engaging, and leading.